Hello, and welcome to TFC Reviews. Today was a rivalry week showdown between the Montreal Impact and the Toronto SC. And we're going to be looking at it through the point of view of a Toronto SC fan. The first 10 minutes of this derby slash rivalry game for both teams were just to feel out the game. What I might mean by this is... The two teams weren't really going for it. Montreal Impact were just holding it in the midfield, but not really looking to score. And Toronto FC were just sitting back in their structured shape, waiting for a break on a counter-attack. But in the 20th minute, Givinko came close to opening the game up, but it went just wide with his shot of the far post. That was the 10th minute, excuse me. Now on to the 20th minute. The game, that's when the game started to open up. When Giovinco was brought down 18 yards out and the free kick was blocked by the defenders. And it went out for a corner. And on the ensuing corner, Giovinco, like he usually does, is always thinking about scoring. And Giovinco saw an opportunity to shoot from the corner and that's exactly what he did. And it almost worked out to perfection but Didier Drogba the Chelsea legend back in his day cleared it off the line just in time and then 42nd minute this was the turning point of the whole derby slash rivalry game tempers flared high and a scrum ensues malice takes out a man which started everything and he received a red card and Montreal Impact were down to 10 men, and they were going to have to go a whole half with 10 men. This didn't exactly work out as TFC had planned. 53rd minute, after going down with an injury for the third time in the match, Didier Drogba ended his day, and he was subbed off. 62nd minute. Shouts for a penalty shot as Giovinco was brought down on the edge of the box, but with 10 men, the referee wasn't trying to just give the game to Toronto FC, so he gave a free kick. And then in the next five minutes, there were just penalty shouts everywhere for Giovinco, for out the door, and then disaster struck for TFC. Off of a goal kick of all things, it bounced over the Toronto FC's player's head, then it's controlled by Odoro, who flicks it on to Piatti, and then he has two nice touches, takes it to his left, left footed strike into the right hand far side corner of the net, and it's 1-0 for a Montreal impact with a man down. This could not have gone any worse for TFC. And me and my dad were watching this game, and I even called it. I said, Toronto FC is actually a bad thing for Toronto FC that they're, they're up a man because they're going to get complacent. And they were leaving so many gaps looking for a goal when they were attacking. 87th minute, Toronto were trying to rally back, and they finally completed a cross after just trying to pump the ball into the box, hoping for someone to get a header, like Josie Altidore or Tosin Ricketts, but it wasn't working. But it finally worked with a cross that goes off of Ricketts' head, and it looked like it was a goal, but sadly it was just side netting, and that's as close as TFC would have got to rallying back. And Montreal Impact held off all of Toronto's attacks for the final half of the game. <sighs> it was squeaky butt time. And Montreal just closed everything down with their big center backs like Simon. With the loss, Toronto FC fell to 0-2 this season when they are one man up, which is a crazy feat. It's actually really bad for Toronto FC because you need to close out games when you're up a man. And it was actually a good game for both teams. 
you could see the passion, especially like players like Oduro, Osorio, Will Johnson, just going into tackles with their all, but Montreal did deserve this game, I would say, but sucks as a TFC fan, very passionate fan. And that was actually the first win Montreal got at BMO Place as an MLS team. So, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you are a TFC fan, drop a sub. And we'll see you in a new video. Bye.